Welcome back to another episode of English Cooking, where I teach you English through cooking. Guys, today we're going to make the favorite food of every child in North America. Can you believe it? It's called PB and J. Smash like if you've never heard of PB and J. All right, so PB and J stands for peanut butter and jelly and we're gonna make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. It's super easy. Now kids love this food, right? It's so simple. Sometimes the most delicious foods are just so simple. PB and J, all you need is three ingredients. You need bread, you need peanut butter, and you need jelly, okay? Now kids love to eat this at any time of the day. Right, you, you might see kids eating this for breakfast, or for lunch, or for dinner, or for night lunch, or for a snack. So it doesn't even have to be a meal. It can be a snack, or it can be a meal. It can be whatever you want it to be. PB&J. I love PB&J. It's, a, it's a great, it's so, it's so good. Now it might not be the most nutritious food. What do you think? Do you think PB&J is nutritious? We'll count it as a nutritious, got some protein, got some sugars, got some carbohydrates. So it's gotta be at least a little bit healthy, right? So guys, uh, this is, like I said, it's, it's a very versatile food. Versatile means it's, it's very flexible. You can eat it whenever you want, however you want. It's just super simple to make. It takes like one minute to make. So we're gonna dive right in. Grab your jar of peanut butter, okay? Open it up, take the lid off, grab yourself a knife, right? And uh, we're just gonna start by spreading the peanut butter onto one of the slices of bread, not both, just one slice of bread, okay? Ooh, look at that. We're just going to spread a nice thick layer this knife isn't very big. I can't get a lot of peanut butter on one thing. There we go. Okay. Just going to get a nice thick layer of peanut butter here. I'm so excited, guys. Are you excited? Wow. All right. Now, I have a question for you. When people say PB and J, that acronym stands for peanut butter and jelly. Now, what's the difference between jelly and jam? Okay, what would you call these? Would you call this jelly or jam? Well, look at this. Okay, I'm gonna cover up the label so you can't see it, <laughs> all right? So what do you think? This is strawberry, obviously. Uh, it's, you can tell it's strawberry. Well, it says strawberry, but I'm covering it up. So what do you think? Is this strawberry jam or strawberry jelly? Look at that, what do you think? And I'm gonna do the same with this one. Now this is purple, right? So you can tell it's, it's gonna be grape and you can see the grapes on the label. And what do you think, is this grape jam or grape jelly? Let me know down in the comments what your guess is, okay? If you know the difference between jelly and jam. Well, guys, you know, for me, I would call these both jam. Okay, I would call this grape jam, and I would call this strawberry jam. But, you know, I have a lot of friends from the US, and in my experience, Americans call this jelly. Okay, that's probably why it's called PB and J, peanut butter and jelly. Although the J could, I guess, stand for jam, but I think it stands for jelly when people, it's, it's, it's mostly an American food. You know, here in Canada, we, you know, we steal a lot of stuff from the US. So I don't know if this is really a Canadian thing or an American thing. It's probably American. So let's just let them name it. If they want to call it peanut butter and jelly, I'm happy to let them <laughs> call it whatever they want. But for me, I call this jam. Okay, now let's look at the labels. This one, well, let's start with this one. Okay, this one says, Strawberry jam, okay, so this is jam. 
Now this one says, look at that, grape jelly. Grape jelly. So what's the difference? I mean, it's the same company. I mean, one is strawberry, one is grape. Why would they use a different word? Well, the, there is a difference between, with, between jam and jelly. Okay, jam actually has real fruit in it, pieces of fruit. Okay, so if you look at this, you will see strawberries, like bits of chunks, chunks of strawberry in there. Okay, and if I look at the ingredients, here it says ingredients. The first ingredient is strawberries. Okay, so it has real strawberries in here. Now, if we look at the grape jelly, what do you think the first ingredient is going to be? Is it going to be grapes? It's not. It's grape juice. Okay, so what jelly is, is it's like thickened grape juice. Jam is actually made of real fruit. So that's the difference, you know, especially with grape. I mean, most grape, like, I don't know if there really is grape jam. You know, if you buy grape jam from the store, I've never had grape jam where actually there are real grapes in the jam. So all grape jam is grape jelly. But for this, I mean, I've never had strawberry Maybe I have had strawberry jelly. Uh, I'm sure, yeah, you you know, if it's a really cheap kind of jam, usually good quality jam actually has real pieces of strawberry in it. So most of the time with strawberry or raspberry or apricot, it's going to be a jam. But now you know the difference between jam and jelly. Now, like I said, these, these words, um, you know, people use these words interchangeably. Like I said, I think most Americans would call both of these jelly. For me, I call both of these jam. Now, I don't know if it's a, if it's a Canadian American difference. It could be, I don't know. But anyway, that's my experience. So just wanted to teach you the difference between the words jam and jelly. Now guys, these jars are sealed. Look at that. See, if the jar goes in a little bit, that means it's sealed. That means it's never been opened before. You know, sometimes when jars are sealed, it's really hard to open them, right? <laughs> Let me know down in the comments. Do you ever have problems opening jars? You know, sometimes I buy cans of this or that and I, I just can't open it. You know, I try so hard. It just, uh, you know, to open it, you need to break the seal. So these are sealed. So we are going to break the seal. So let's see if I can open them. What do you think? Do you think I will be strong enough to open it? Let's give it a shot. I'll open it by the microphone here so you can hear the pop. Ooh, got a nice pop there. All right, let's see about this one. Oh, that one's stuck. Oh, there we go, I got it. Ooh, <laughs> nice. Oh, that smells like grape juice. Wow, that is a good smelling jam. It's or jelly. Oh, and you can actually see the difference in consistency. Okay, if I shake this, you can see it kind of jiggling around. <clears throat> right, if something is that kind of texture, you can see it's kind of jiggling, it's jiggly. Whereas with jam, I mean, jam is not really, jam is more like a, like a paste, right? Whereas this is more like a jello, right? So it's kind of like a, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, you, you can decide which you want to, which words you want to use, but, but that's a good word, jiggly. Anytime something's jiggly, like if you're kind of fat, if you've got some stomach fat or whatever, if you jump around, your fat is kind of, kind of jiggly. It kind of jiggles, right? So that's a good word to use for, Great jelly, it's it's jiggly. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna put um, we're gonna put a bit of both kinds of jam on here. Let's put um, let's start with some grape jelly. We're gonna put grape jelly on half of it, and then we'll put some strawberry jam on the other half. Wow. So we're going to spread the jam. Okay. 
or the jelly, whichever word you want to use. Like I said, you can just choose whichever word you want. They're kind of interchangeable. Okay, we're going to spread it on half there. Mmm, that looks good. Now we're going to put some strawberry jam. Yeah, you can see the difference. It's a, it's a very noticeable difference in consistency that uh, the way the substance is, you can call it consistency, right? It's got a different consistency. This has got a more jiggly consistency. This is more like a thick, kind of more like, a, like I said, almost like more of like a paste. I don't know. But anyway, we're going to, I kind of like the consistency of that great jelly. <laughs> it kind of feels cool. It's kind of nice and jiggly. Let me know. Do you have any jiggly fat on your body? I got some jiggly fat on my body. So here we go, guys. It's half strawberry, half grape. Isn't that amazing? Man. Now let me know, guys, down in the comments. Which meal would you eat this in? Would, would, would you have this for breakfast? Or would you have this for, um, for lunch? Or for you know, dinner or supper here in Canada. Very often we call the last meal supper. That would be a nice supper too. Or would you eat it for a dessert or a snack or a night lunch? You know, very often before kids go to bed, they eat, they like to eat something kind of light, kind of a small meal. So like PB and J would be a good midnight snack, night lunch or midnight snack. Okay. So, here it is guys, let me just hold it up for you so you can see, get a great shot of that. Ooh, I can't wait to eat that, that looks so good. All right guys, so we're, now we're just going to put, put them together. It's that simple, all right, so we're just gonna put them together like this. Okay, and then we're just gonna cut it. Now we're gonna cut this diagonally all right so you can see this is the a piece of bread it's kind of shaped like a square it's kind of basically a square right so if we cut it diagonally that means we're going to cut it from one corner to the other corner the word is diagonal okay so we're going to we're going to cut it diagonally here Ooh. <clears throat> i'm so excited about this guys <laughs> Yes. Is this your all-time favorite food? <laughs> this is such a good food. It's so simple. Kids love it. Even if you're not a kid, you probably love it. Adults love it too. You might bring a PB&J sandwich to, to work with you for lunch or for a dessert. You know, or if you're working a night shift and you need some, you just kind of need a, a little bit of sugar. You need something sweet. You know, sometimes you just kind of need a little bit of something sweet. So this is so perfect because you've got the protein in the peanut butter and you've got the sweetness of the jam. So it's just like such a perfect combination. All right, so there it is, our diagonal slices. Now, you know, the last thing you'll want to do, pour yourself a glass of milk, All right? Get a little bit more protein, get some calcium. So, you know, kids love drinking milk and, uh, Adults love drinking milk too. So there's our glass of milk. Let me know in the comments. Do you love milk? Or do you do you like to drink milk substitutes like um, almond milk or soy milk? Um, nut milk? How many different milks are there? Oat milk? Man, people aren't happy with just the regular milk. Some people are lactose intolerant. All right, lactose is like the um, the milk sugars, okay? So some, sometimes people have to take some pills in order to digest the milk because they're kind of, they're lactose intolerant. Let me know, are you lactose intolerant? What kind of milk substitute do you drink? What's your favorite milk substitute? I don't know if I've had all the, all the ones, but I've had almond milk. I don't know if I've ever had oat milk. Is eggnog made from milk? 
it's almost Christmas time now. People are starting to drink eggnog. I don't know if eggnog is made of, if it even has milk. I think it has eggs. Let me know down in the comments if you know what eggnog is. I don't even know what eggnog is made of. But anyway, guys, should we do a taste test? Oh, I'm so excited. Grape and strawberry PB&J, my friends. Here you go. You can have the first bite there. I appreciate you guys so much. Here's a snack for you. Oh, here we go. so good guys mmm man what do you think should I dunk it into my milk a little bit treat it like a cookie you know very often people dunk their cookies in the milk so we're gonna dunk it in the milk Ooh. look at that mmm Wow, <laughs> so good. Mm. Well guys, that's a real treat. It's so simple, so delicious. Let me know down in the comments if you love PB and J. Peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. And you have to cut them diagonally, remember. It's an important step. So guys, I hope you're doing well. Hope you're staying healthy and happy. Have a great week. You know, stay safe. These are perilous times that we're living in. Perilous means kind of dangerous, right? The word peril means some danger, right? Out in society, the world is kind of going crazy with the pandemic. We can call this a perilous time. So guys, Hope you're staying safe in this perilous time. God bless you guys and your family. Stay safe, stay happy, and I'll see you over in the next episode of English Cooking. Take care.